3.1 is a fairly short and straightforward topic. It's um, literally about the difference between data and information. Um, and it can be a little bit confusing because sometimes you'll hear, especially scientists or people who've done some kind of research, they'll say, let's just have a look at the data. But it's not always data that they're then showing because they'll come up with some graphs and some charts but that data is clearly being organized into some structure into some visual uh, image that we make more sense out of but the reality is data is the unprocessed facts so they're raw they're unorganized if you can see from the picture here at the top this one just has drug, patient number, time. It's just numbers. It doesn't really mean anything um, it, until it's converted into something like this picture here with some grass and some charts. Someone sorted it. They've searched through it. They've cleaned out all the stuff that wasn't relevant. They've created some grass and some charts and they've put some colors on it. And now it all becomes readable and understandable and useful information because it has some context. So data is just literally the facts. Okay, and without any context, it's just a list of numbers that doesn't necessarily mean anything. It needs some processing to take place before it becomes information. So information is then this data which has been processed, analyzed, manipulated, organized into some kind of structure so that it contains meaning and context. It makes sense to us when we see it and understand it. It means something. It's not just numbers, facts, figures, etc. So let's have a quick look at a kind of uh, question you might come across in the exam. So this one's asking us, he says, there's a contact management system as part of the case study. It holds data and information about patients. Using an example relating to a dental surgery, okay, so there's some context here. Describe the difference between data and information. So we need some understanding of what a content management system is, and you should have looked at this in Unit 1. It's normally some software that uh, it could just be something simple like Microsoft Outlook um, that just keeps people's contact information so you know who they are maybe what their email address, address is and their mobile number their, their home phone number perhaps their address and it's just a, a means of managing their contact information so you know who your customers are and, and then you can contact them if there's a special offer or if it's a client because you know uh, they uh, normally do some work with your company or if it's your doctor they might just um, manage the contacts of the patients they deal with on a daily basis so they have the it tells us here that they have data and information and in this case it's about patients so they want you to, for three marks, to give you an example of how a dentist, in this case, uh, would uh, distinguish between data and information. So uh, responses from the exam board, possible answers to this question, okay? If you just simply describe or explain that data has no context or it's just raw facts and figures and, and hasn't been processed and that information has context or it's data that has been processed or manipulated or analyzed in some way and it has some context that'll get you the two marks just for explaining the difference between data and information but what they want you to do for the third mark is then relate that to the dentist's surgery and the example they give here is they could use codes, for example, TM or TA or CU. So quite often when you go to the dentist, they give you a, a sheet of paper when you leave and it's got like pictures of your teeth on it and things like that. And they've, they've kind of scribbled things on, you know, where you need a filling or whatever. And they give you that 
um, when they charge you for the treatment. And then they normally would say, okay, we'll make an appointment for you to come back. So this is the kind of thing you might find written on that sheet that they give you. So it might just say TM, or it might say TA, or it might say CU, or something along those lines. And that's the data. They're just little shorthand codes. They mean something to the person at the dentist, but they don't really mean anything to you until they've got context. And then when we realize TM stands for treatment, TA can stand for toothache, CU can stand for check up, then, you know, it, it, we're, we're just kind of giving an example here of, well, a dentist might use these kind of shorthand codes that mean something to, uh, you know, uh, people once they understand what they stand for, what they relate to, or in what context they get used. So as long as you've come up with a reasonable suggestion of what might be data and given some context how that might become useful information, that's pretty much uh, the three marks for that question.